Uh, Rangers Devils. <clears throat> so game one, the Rangers won five one. Game two, the Rangers won five one. Uh, game three, the Devils won two to one in overtime. A Dougie Hamilton goal. Uh, Hughes has two goals. Brad has two assists. The leading point guy on the Devils has two points. That's Jack Hughes. Uh, the Schmidt was on a penalty shot too. Yeah, don't forget this Schmidt guy. Let's talk about him. He had a nine. He has a nine seventy two save percentage. He played one game. He played pretty good. Uh, yep. I would say that there were a couple shots. Mika Zibanejad had on the power play that were like some pretty good saves. But other than that, like Ray Ferraro was talking about how this guy was like Marty Brodeur and like, dude, he, he stopped the puck. I'll give him that. But it wasn't like grade a scoring chances. Like Panarin missed the net a few times. I, I just, he played good. I'm giving him kudos to that. Like you came in, dude, you weren't expecting that you're going to play in this series. You came in, you got your win. Cool. But the fact that everybody's blowing this guy, like he's fucking Marty Brodeur is insane. Well, I think the the things that go with it was that he's the first rookie goaltender for the Devils since Brodeur to come in the playoffs like that. Um, his his side, his lateral movement, he doesn't overcommit, so he seems very calm and collected in the in the cage. Um, and you know they got to push a storyline; they need a storyline. And for this guy to come in with only twenty six games played in the NHL is a pretty good story, you know. I think if I'm a Devils fan and I'm down two one in this series, and Jack Hughes only has two points, I feel pretty fucking good that we're only down two one. And game three, like I, okay, I'm going to talk about the Rangers really quick. Chris Kreider five goals, Adam Fox six assists. Fox leads the Rangers with six points. Igor Shesterkin a nine fifty save percentage, pretty decent. Um. Game one, game one and game two, it just looked like the Rangers had been in the playoffs before and the Devils had it. Like, I don't think the Devils knew what type of system to play. I thought that they thought maybe it was going to be a lot more free flowing. The Rangers defensemen, they, they played simple. They got the puck out of the zone. Rangers were chipping pucks in deep when they had a chance to get to the net. They'd get to the net and it was just over and over and over again, right? Game three, I think they made an adjustment. And to be completely honest with you, it was a coin flip. Like, if you look at the advanced numbers or whatever, that game could have went either way. Uh, a, it sucks that they didn't win on home ice. We got a big game coming up tomorrow. Whoever wins tomorrow, I think is going to be in the driver's seat. So it's, it's going to be, it's, it's a, I don't call it a must win, but I'm calling it a must win for the Rangers. They need to, <laughs> they, they need to fucking take this home. But I just said, if I'm a devil's fan and I'm a, and I'm only down two one and Jack Hughes only has two points, like, okay, we can kind of rebound from this. Meek is a Benajad. Where the fuck are you, dude? He does this every year. Like, okay, we're ready for you to score goals now. Can we can we start doing that, please? Tarasenko's looked fucking great, dude. Uh, he's had a few goals. Patty fucking came. That wrist game. shot, that wrist shot goal that he had in game two. You, you mean the backhand when he fucking went in and went backhand shelf? Is that's probably what you're talking about was 3.9. And let me just talk about this donkey Pasha, this like spitting chicklets fucking asshole. Here's the thing. He's just doing it for a fucking click. So Rangers fans need to calm down. Like this guy's delusional. He doesn't actually mean the shit that he's saying. There's not a single person on planet earth that actually thinks Patrick Kane would not help out a hockey team in the Stanley cup playoffs. Like he's called showtime for a fucking reason. And if he actually, if he actually believes that he's, he's generally not like genuinely not worth your time or breath or anything along those lines to even talk about. This is the only time we're going to talk about him. Like he's a fucking loser. So don't worry about that. Um, yeah, we're going to see Igor's played really well. Our defense has played really well. Barkley Goudreau's had a fucking rough couple games. We're hoping that we can get a rebound from him. Um, Timo Meyer going at Igor Shesterkin's leg, dude. What a fucking rat play. I'll tell you what, he wasn't going to be a guy that I thought I was going to hate by the end of the series, but I, he needs to get his face caved in. Uh, I'm still yeah. waiting for a Jacob Truba bomb. It'll probably happen. Uh, we can talk about Ryan Lindgren going for fucking short side because that was incredible. Uh, that was a nice goal. I feel good about it. The Rangers, again, it was a coin flip. They're playing really good playoff hockey. They're playing like a team that's been in the playoffs before. And that, for me, I'm okay with that. And and after the game one, they interviewed Kreider. He's like, game two is the most important game that we got to do. After game two, he's like, game three is the most important. They're there for business. Like, like I, I keep putting out this, uh, we're on to game three, like dressed up like Bill Belichick tweets that I'm doing because it's a business trip for the boys. And it's nice to see that is like their mindset. Like they're, they're just there. They're going to fucking play their game. They're going to move on. They're not too high, not too low. They're taking positives or taking negatives or doing what they got to do to win a game. So do you have anything else? Oh, Adam Fox is the best defense in the league. That's the only <laughs> other thing I have for you. For the, uh, for the counterpoint, I would recommend if you're a fan of watching someone's emotions play out in real time, 
oh, okay, yeah. on social media. Follow our New Jersey Devil writer, Pat Booth. It's Pat. How many? I'm trying to see. One, two, three. I think it's Pat Booth with either five or six zeros. I mean, uh, five or six O's in the middle of Booth. It goes Booth. Uh, he is, his emotions are on his sleeve and on his Twitter timeline. It is. It's pretty funny. It's awesome. It's awesome. He's like, you know, Dougie Hamilton is more impactful than Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Gandhi, MLK, and Nelson Mandela combined. I mean, he has two points. Tip of the, he, he, tip has, of the he, has, he has two points this series. Yeah, but it was, uh, it was the, I'm sure that was after the OT. Yeah, you know? <laughs> but that was after he was ready to burn all his devil's gear like three hours prior. So game three, I thought this was interesting. I might have to get boots um, feedback from this, but the devil scratched Miles Wood, and I, I thought, thought he was he, injured. I thought I read he was injured. I think he was scratched. Wow, I like Miles Wood. I do too, but I see a lot of Devils fans don't like him. So if he wants to be on the Rangers, I'd be completely okay with that. Um, but yeah, yeah. that was East 